stay positive. But as your head and deputy head girl, it's our job to help. We are going to go through the positive points about lockdown and how we can make ourselves feel better. Firstly, we can spend more time with our family. This is great, especially in these times, as you can talk to them about your worries and problems. Secondly, it makes you appreciate how much you need your friends. In these times, you can sometimes feel lonely, so always remember to talk to your friends on video calls. You will never again take your friends for granted. As there are barely any cars or planes out, we are slowly reducing our CO2 footprint, which is great as we are striving to be an eco-friendly school. Because of this, the air feels cleaner, which makes you feel fresh, so don't forget to go out on your daily walks. On that note, I have been spotting a lot more wildlife recently, especially birds. In my garden, I even saw a fox. On my daily walks, the sea is a beautiful colour, and it sometimes even looks motionless, as there are no bones. Since many of you are stuck inside, I know a lot of people are desperate to go outside, when normally they wouldn't really want to. Maybe this lockdown is trying to teach us a lesson. Don't take anything for granted, even going outside. As we are stuck inside and have lots of free time, maybe you could try and learn a new skill to pass time, or even just do some relaxing colouring. Don't stay on electronics all the time. Practice your instruments or even just simply read a book. Lexi and I both think that when we come out of lockdown, we'll all be a better version of our former selves. And we also think that as we begin to see and hear the beautiful nature, we will respect it and climate change will start to reverse. Thank you for listening. I hope this made you feel a bit better in these terrible times. Remember to stay safe and always wash your hands. Bye, see you soon.